Here's a look at the Manfrotto 190 X Pro B aluminum tripod. This is the most compact configuration. It's 23 inches, so you do need a good size carry on luggage. It weighs about four and a half pounds and it climbs all the way up to 58 inches without a ball head. So if you put on a ball head and your camera, you're looking at about a viewfinder height of around 65 inches. One of the cool things that this tripod can do, the center column cannot be reversed. But what you can do is if you loosen the clamps and you raise the center column, there's a little button under here you depress. And now the center column rotates 90 degrees. So now you can have your camera hanging off this end for uh, macro shots if you want to get in really close to a flower. I've used this tripod a couple of times when I had to shoot over like a barricade or a fence because of the way the tripod uh, legs spread out. You can't always get as close to uh, the gate or the fence. So by having this arm extend out above and beyond the railing I've managed to get some pretty good shots uh, while out using it <clears throat> you don't have to extend it out fully because it does get kind of tippy with the weight of your camera over there but there is a hook for you to attach your camera bag to even out the weight on both sides or you can pull it in a little bit <clears throat> and there's a hook here you can also hang stuff off of there's a compression ring up here to tighten it but if you're having any sort of weight hanging off on this side because you don't want to be holding on to it the entire time especially if you're doing like a long exposure you're just gonna wobble and your picture will show it so but you can go low with this uh, it has also leg locks in three positions. Go ahead and spin them around. I've done some low angle beat shots with this camera before, with this setup before. Here's the Manfrotto 190X Pro B at its lowest setting. The legs are at their highest angles and the center column has been uh, flipped. You cannot remove it and it cannot be inserted in reverse so this is the only way of getting the tripod as low as you can go. Your camera will hang off here and your center column is still adjustable you can bring it in or extend it out depending how far away your uh, subject is you know a flower or an insect. Keep in mind that although you still have two of the tripod legs supporting your camera you still want to either sandbag it or put your camera bag or some rocks on this side to counterbalance the weight of your camera on that side you don't want to be holding it because your body movement will just be transferred on the extended column and that's going to start shaking but if you do need to get down low and you don't want to disassemble uh, anything on the tripod it takes less than 10 seconds to get it into this configuration you take a couple of your pictures and once you're ready to go it returns to its normal state really quickly and then you'll be ready to go and use it as a traditional tripod it's uh, definitely a recommended tripod if you're getting serious about photography. The tripods that you pick up either in bundles or at big box stores for anywhere from $30 to $60, they are not going to last. They have inferior products, uh, their manufacturing is not that good, and their quality control is not that good. Some of them even have uh, screw mounts that raise and lower the column if you're shooting at a beach or anywhere where there's a dusty environment you're gonna get debris in there and then 
the next thing you know you can't raise or lower your tripod <clears throat> but if you want something that's gonna last you you know three to five years through your first set of lenses and maybe your second or third uh, camera body this is definitely a well-built tripod it's not the lightest but you can see that it has some interesting functions that allow you to go from low to the ground to use it as a regular tripod I've used this with the uh, Nikon 200 to 400 and it held up really well and if you have anything like under five six pounds this thing is pretty rock solid